I have one week left for exams. Please post a video on how to pass the first year MBBS. These were the DMs that I had been getting on my social media accounts and can you pass an exam by only studying for a week and not studying for the entire year? As I always love to say, nothing is impossible. So it is possible for you to pass an exam by just studying a week before an exam, but I, I can't guarantee a higher marks. But yes, you can pass the exams. Today, I will be breaking down the topic on how to pass first year MBBS exams into various uh, small topics. So please follow through this video. Uh, if you have exams coming up, if you are thinking about doing goods in your exams, if you are studying in first year, whatever it is, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, I'm Tristy Kumar. I am a third year medical student currently studying at KIST Medical College, Nepal. And without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So these past few weeks, I've been getting a lot of DMs and a lot of comments on my channel about how to pass first year MBBS exam. So I thought, why not make a video about it? If you follow through each and every point in this video, you are sure to pass the exams. And I'm not someone who would make a video on how to pass an exam because I believe if your target is to pass an exam, you will likely do below that. So your target should always be higher. So the video I'm making on today is how to pass an exam with good marks. So I believe there is like 7 to 10 days for your board exams for first year in TU, um, Trivun University, MBBS exams. So you must all be worried, anxious right now. I know I've been there and it's um, first year you do not really have a clue on how to give exams and uh, how to do well and how to approach the exams. So don't worry, I got you. and. Yes, there I, I believe there are three types of students right now. One, for example, Sita. So Sita is a type of student who has um, studied everything by this point and she is yet to revise or she has revised once. Another student, um, Hari, suppose, suppose he is Hari. So Hari is a type of student who has um, passed in exams always with good numbers and he is an average student and right now he is uh, also almost done um, studying everything once. And then there is the last student who is, uh, suppose he is, who is, Okay, he's Ram. So Ram is the type of student who um, hasn't studied everything up, up until this point, had just started studying a few days back and is anxious and don't know how he will be able to cover everything and has no hope of passing. So wherever you are in terms of studying, you should remember that if you worry about it, you are wasting your time. The time right now is for action. You should not be worrying or getting anxious about something that hasn't even happened yet. And to uh, sabotage yourself like that, you will be less likely to do good. So right now, it's time for yourself to fuel yourself with motivation, whether somebody else is doing or not. You should be motivating yourself. You should be pushing yourself and you should be there for yourself. So just don't worry, do the right things and you will ace this exam, I promise. The first thing I want to talk about is past your questions, the importance of past your questions. Guys, I know you have doubts like uh, trust issues and you might be thinking thinking uh, what if examiner sets a different kind of question but trust me if you don't trust the examiner if you don't trust the examiner trust me because past questions are so 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 important in MBBS because the same things are important for you to there are things that you must know in order for you to become an a doctor a good doctor you know so those things will always 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 be asked so please go through your past question book they are available in the market if you haven't gotten it 
please get it if you have it it's fine so there are some questions that will always be repeated for example if anatomy if you're confused what to study for example in msk there are so many muscles that you need to remember um so many confusing things origin insertion their function but if you read selectively what has been asked in past questions the most list them down you know what i did was i had already listed it when i was studying uh, msk system so um, i had a list right always before any exams i prepare a set of past questions of high yield questions and high yield chapters so that i know what to focus on first so um if you have listed down all the muscles that's important all the muscles that has been asked for example if important muscles we're talking about the uh, biceps brachii will always be asked triceps uh, will always be asked a uh, brachioradialis will always be asked so there are certain muscles that will always be asked and you need to know their origin insertion and function for theory as well as for practical so you have to have those lists right that and in pathology um inflammation define inflammation define cellular event define events you have to know that and when we are answering define events of inflammation don't just write about vascular write about cellular events as well so whatever there is you have to write it down These questions are so important so how to approach past question is um make a list of uh, the topics for uh, for example in anatomy as i said earlier um in physiology the questions will be longer so you do not need to make a list but you could like go to their go to your question bank and highlight those questions that has been repeatedly asked and do past questions so for now sita has already known what past questions are uh, sita knows um what are important topics and sita has read them once hari he also knows that he has read it once and uh, sita has even now time to revise it once but hari is still studying and the uh, last one ram doesn't even know what past questions are that hasn't memorized yet and is confused about how to approach it so to so ram trust me and have those past questions at the tip of your tongue uh, for the past 10 years what have been asked you 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 have to have to have to have to memorize it uh, for sita like if you're learning past questions try writing answers by yourself it will help you in exams a lot if you are writing those answers that you will remember how you should approach a certain question you should always know there are certain topics that are high yield and there are that will be asked sometimes and there is low yield topics so you to in order for you to pass exams you need to know everything about the high yield topics whether you are going to fast track or um i will come to that um but whatever you have the resource please go through it and learn those high yield topics the next thing is on how to study uh for exams so when when you are a week away from exam or a month away from exam don't go and open those big bulky books that you have never touched you know it's very important for you to learn from the sources or resources that you have been learning through your first in first internal assessments so for me for my part uh, i had made notes uh, during my classes every day so for my first internal assessment i read from my notes until my board exams i read from my notes and if there are some unique questions i used to refer to books or um teacher slide but i had my own notes so it was um easy for me to remember those things because somewhere in my mind those things were stored because i had been repeatedly studying that so don't don't go for new resources last minute just follow through what you have already been following through the next important thing is revision you know mbbs there are so many things to remember and um it's very um, it's very easy for us to forget things please don't pressurize yourself or don't be hard on yourself thinking oh my god i forgot this memory is just volatile um there are so many things to remember i don't expect you to remember one thing just by studying today so if you have 10 days break it down into 5 days that you are going to study everything for the first like for ram uh, he has to study everything by 5 days and for 5 days he has to keep it separately for revision but sita and hari they have already finished everything studying once so they have to revise it twice or thrice and keep looking back for the topics they keep forgetting another thing very important in any student's life in doing well in any exams is time management so you have um 
an exam of four hours and the full marks is 120 and there are six subjects um, never forget to take watch for your exams and for each subject you have to give 40 minutes for one subject and always start from the uh, top subject that you know of for example if you are good in anatomy or pathology you start from it I always start from anatomy because for anatomy you have like you don't have to explain a lot you just have to write what has been asked write facts you know just the answers and you don't have to lengthen it so it will take so less time um, but also um, I'll talk about how, how what things you need to add in order to get for you to get high marks um, I'll talk that later but you have to have to finish the everything by 40 minutes every subject and if you're doing suppose physiology and biochemistry they always take a long time so if you're doing physiology and if you're not able to finish those within 40 minutes move on to another topic because if you do not do that you at the end if you are not able to manage time and if you miss one subject you are going to get zero and try finishing other subjects in time because you know that there is one subject left that you will require some of your time so you have to move your hand very fast and and um, give each subject the required time and get back again uh, when you have time in the last minute to fill up those spaces. Um, always keep time uh, for the end like 15 minutes or 10 minutes so that you can go through all of those spaces that you might have missed. So um, up until now I've discussed on how to pass exams with, now, how to pass exams with good marks. So there are some tips that you need to follow through in order to gain higher marks. For anatomy, draw a drawing, you know. Um, you do not have to be, it does not have to be very artistic, um, the drawing that's in the book. Uh, just try to memorize what you have studied through. So while you're studying for anatomy, try drawing it. Those things will be retained in your memory as well as it will help you to draw an exam. So um, if you are describing a muscle or if you're describing a relation or boundaries, just draw it through and then first draw it through on the side or in the above section and then describe you, describe it. For physiology and for pharmacology, um, just for pharma, if you're doing mechanism of action, do it through the flowchart you know and for physiology if you're explaining something um, make it through flowchart that way it will be easier for examiner to understand even if you have very less knowledge on the topic just make a flowchart that way you are telling the examiner that you know certain certain thing about the topic and um, if you write things in paragraph nobody will read it you also have to make it either in bullet points or for physiology i suggest you to go through flow charts even in biochemistry there are certain things that you need to do uh, through flow charts for biochemistry remember those glycogenesis Krebs cycles everything try practicing a flow chart paste it on your wall whatever helps you just study you can use video resources you know osmosis is very amazing um, also for biochemistry i think um, there is one thing called Pixorize. Uh, I was using it my second year, uh, I don't know about first year, but those videos that make um, mnemonics are very easy to understand. For example, in pathology, Pixorize has awesome videos on meningioma, they make you remember through drawings, and I was able to remember so many things. So, if you are studying a topic and if you're unable to like um, grasp it because for pathology you have to write gross you have to write microscopy and at the end everything feels like similar so you have to remember what is um, characteristic feature of certain things so for example in osteosarcoma you have to have to remember um, sunburst appearance and code band strangle and just those basic things you can just write in sticky notes paste it on your wall that is what I did and it helped me remember just the side of your desk because you're seeing it every day and it will help you retain in your memory for um, students like Sita who want to get gold medal who want to be toppers for pathology or drawing for gross and for microscopy you can take your attorney pencils and draw those microscopic structures features that you have studied you have known it will help you gain high marks another thing which is very important high yield tip is handwriting I know most of you would not believe me when I say this but teachers examiners do see your handwriting maintain handwriting who doesn't like to read uh, um, somebody's copy and it's written clearly and it's in good handwriting who doesn't get impressed I would get impressed and I know you would too if there's something written that you wouldn't even understand 
it's you are less likely to gain less than other friends who have written in good handwriting tip is for those who want to score higher um, just there's question number one two three if you if it's possible for you write those serially like if you're writing question number one uh, and then if it's you know I, for example if this is a page if you are writing question number one here and if it's uh, if you've written up until this uh, space and if this space is left do not get started on question number two here or question number three here just turn the page and uh, start the question number two here because there will be enough space um, enough papers given to you so don't get started on question number two on the mid page or here if you want to gain high marks just to see really question one two three four five and if you're unable to do that don't be like you are writing 4a on the first first page for C on I don't know in the third page and 4D on the last page don't do it like that just do 4D or B A C like serially um, if it's possible more than good you can do A B C D but don't do like that it, it won't have a good impression on the examiner so these are the things some tips and um, kind of like a tricks that you can use and get good marks in exam and uh, the most important thing is not to worry as i said earlier as well you still have some more days 24 hours is enough time if you utilize it well take breaks as i always say um if you're studying continuously 13 hours it's not going to be uh, eventful if you're not taking breaks if you're not taking time to revise it whatever you have studied through today you have to revise it tomorrow morning and please 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 finish everything just before exams and just keep some time to revise don't worry and good luck to all my subscribers and those who watch my video i know you are going to make me proud and do amazing in exams don't, don't let your doubts win over you and have confidence on yourself in exam as well do not leave the space empty just write whatever you know whatever you have studied through and if for subjects like pathology if you have revised it you will surely remember something in exam and just right now it's not the end of the world you still have few days so just focus more on um, studying and less on other things just keep it aside for a while if your social media is your distraction deactivate it get away from it because your career is important and you would not want to give supplementary exams so just focus on studying completely and it's enough time for you all and i know you will do good so good luck everyone and subscribe to my channel and see you in next video guys i was editing this video and i forgot to mention one thing you also have come to medicine exams in your first year so do not neglect that subject because most students tend to fail in come to medicine so if you're studying about um anatomy or other major subjects in the daytime give that time to come to medicine at night uh, practice the questions of biostatistics do not keep come to medicine to study only one day before exam that's what i did for most of my exams uh, during first year but during board exams i did study it beforehand and it was so helpful otherwise you will get stuck at 39 um, because the pass max is 40 and you don't want to repeat um, give another supplementary exams so do not neglect come to medicine